Okay, magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Welcome sa ating channel, Sir Lopista. Sa araw na ito ay magkakaroon naman tayo ng self-evaluation dito sa subject na Industrial Security. Ang mga kasagutan sa mga katanungan nating ibibigay sa araw na ito ay makikita lamang dito sa ating description box. Okay, kung nakanda na kayo, start na natin sa question number one. House like structures above the perimeter barriers that gives a psychological effect to violators. Letter A, tower guard. Letter B, security guard. Letter C, top guard. Or letter D, security fence. Number two. This system is manually operated and is usually made up of movable certs or floodlights that can be located in selected or special locations which will require lighting only for short period of time. Letter A. Floodlight. Letter B. Lighthouse. Letter C. Portable light or letter D, signal light. Number three. What instrument is used to assist the security in detecting, impending, impending? or deterring potential security threat in the installation. Letter A, security lights. Letter B, security hand stick. Letter C, firearms. Or letter D, protective alarms. Number 4. What signaling system that activates the alarm? A. Transmission line B. Kill switch C. Annunciator or letter D. Sensor Number 5 1. The vibration sensitive sensor is attached to walls, ceiling, or floors of the protected areas. 2. The sensor detects any vibration caused by attempted force entry. Letter A. Statement 1 is correct. Letter B. Statement 2 is correct. Letter C. Both statements are correct. Or letter D, both statements are false. Number 6. One of the most widely used physical security devices in the asset protection program of an installation. A. Alarms. B. Security guard. Letter C. Fence. Or letter D, locks. Number 7. This type of lock must be used only to have privacy but not to provide a high degree of security. Letter A, warded lock. Letter B, tumbler lock. Letter C, combination lock or letter D, coded operated lock. Number 8. When alarm is sounded, Central Station notifies police and other agency. A. Central Station System B. Proprietary System C. 
Local Alarm System or letter D, Auxiliary Alarm System. Number 9. It is the least expensive in terms of energy consumed and has the advantage of providing instant illumination when the switch is on. A. Mercury vapor lamp. B. Incandescent lamp. C. Metal halide or letter D. Fluorescent. Number 10. Used to deny or impede access or exit of an authorized person. A. Security guard. B. Bolt. C. Lock or letter D. Fence. Number 11. A security force maintained and operated by any private company or corporation utilizing any of its employees to watch, secure, or guard its business establishment premises, compound, or properties. A. Company Guard Force B. Government Guard C. Bodyguard or letter D. Agency Guard Number 12 A weakness that can be used to gain access to an asset A. Threats B. Hazard C. Risk or letter D. Vulnerability An association of all licensed security agencies and company security forces in the Philippines. A. PSA. B. PADPAO. C. CGF. Or later D. PDA. Number 14. Qualifications of a private detective, except letter A, must be a Filipino citizen, letter B, must be a high school graduate, letter C, must be physically and mentally fit, letter D, must not be less than 51 nor more than 90 years of age. Fifteen. Security agency must be sixty percent Filipino owned, and forty percent must be foreigner. A. True. B. False. C. May be true or letter D. May be false. Sixteen. Known as the Private Security Agency Law. A. RA 5487. B. RA 6976. Letter C. RA 8552. Or letter D. RA 17. Third line of physical defense A. Perimeter defense B. Inside perimeter defense Letter C. Storage system or Letter D. Clear zone 18. Thirds Floors, windows, ropes, walls constitute the second line of defense, usually referred to as A. Perimeter defense, 
B. Inside perimeter depends. Letter C. Storage system. Or letter D. Clear zone. Nineteen. What is the minimum height requirement for security guard? Letter A. Five feet two inches. Letter B. Five feet four inches. Letter C. Six feet. Or letter D. Five feet. Next number twenty. A plan and organized determination of facts concerning specific loss or damage of assets due to threats, hazards, or unsecured conditions. A. Security plan. B. Security technique. Letter C. Security investigation. Or letter D. Security details. Twenty-one. The basic instrument for determining security vulnerability: A. Security plan. B. Security survey. Letter C. Security investigation. Or letter D. Security details. Twenty-two. Act of stealing small things or items of little value, especially habitually. A. Pilferage. B. Robbery. C. Theft. Or letter D. All of them. Twenty-three. Deliberate destruction or deliberate damaging or destroying of property or equipment. A. Sabotage. B. Espionage. C. Pilferage or letter D. Vandalism. Twenty four. The process of destroying a document which is no longer significant in the organization. Letter A. Upgrading. Letter B. Forging. Letter C. Compromise. Or letter D. Alteration. Okay, the last number. Number 25. A mandatory indoctrination on security for all new personnel before their assignment to their respective jobs. A. Security awareness. B. Security plan. C. Security survey. Or letter D. Security education. Okay, so natapos na natin ang ating self-evaluation sa araw nito. Uh, I appreciate your listening. Maraming salamat at magandang araw po sa ating lahat.